In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in here the ticks, where we can control the ticks with having two decimal points and forcing them into a 0 0.25 increase every single time here. And of course, we want to make sure that the scale will not round it up or down and it will always force a two decimal point. So let's start to look how to control the step size of the scales and show two decimal values in chart.js. First, what we're going to do is we need to get the default code, which you can find here on chartjs3.com. Getting started, this specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, copy this entire chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So once I'm on here, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste all of that in there and I will just cut out this item, put it in here, save this, and just ex uh, at least here, increase the size of this. Let's make it 80%, save, refresh. All right, so now we have all of these items here. So what we want to do first is to control the step size. To do that, I need to reduce the amount here because else it will not work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put in here a 3 and then here we say 1.5 and there I guess we can do here maybe 2.7 if I save that refresh all right so now we have this and let's control the step size of this so I'm going to scroll down here and then in here go to comma and I'm going to see it ticks and I'm going to do here step size we put in here 0 0.25 Save that refresh, and as you can see here, while the step size is correct, it's the decimals here has been rounded up or down depending on the situation. Well, in this case, it's always rounding it, it up. And what we need here now is to have two decimal points. So how do we do that? Well, basically, we're going to put a comma here. We're going to use the callback functionality. So we're going to say callback, and then in this callback, we have the value values and the ctx make sure you spell it correctly uh, values all right and then i'm going to put in here a function error expression and then basically what i want to do is i want to control here just only this one here to make sure you understand what i'm doing here let's do a console log to show you what value is being shown here so if i save this refresh open developer tab you will see now it misses a lot of items which is normal why? Because we didn't return any value. But you can see here, the values are correct. So if we would just return this, you might say, all right, that would be the solution. The answer is no. But I'm going to show it to you. So if I save that, refresh here. Oh, surprisingly, it is. So my, ba my bad. So apparently, it will work fine. However, what I was expecting here is it will be automatically uh, rounded down. But what you could do here is we can say to fix as well, to force a two decimal point like that, then we have a very consistent value. Of course, here this here is really not really necessary. So you could just remove that because everything was surprisingly already doing what we wanted. However, having it with two decimals here, it just looks a bit more neat. And that's basically how to do this. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn some more other items, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this one here on how to format numbers in the Y scale in chart.js.